How's it everyone, Grant here, welcome back to the channel. And Huawei, or Honor, has finally started pushing out the Android Nougat EMUI 5.0 update to the Honor 6X. So here we go, I have an Honor 6X. And I saw the news last night that their update was finally going out. It's been in beta testing for a while now. And I quickly checked my device. I never thought it would be there because they usually take a while to roll these updates out. But I got lucky, the update was there. If you've got an Honor 6X, maybe you've already got the Nougat update installed or you should go ahead and check your updates to see if it's there. If you don't have it, you should be getting it soon. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through what's changed and what's been updated in the EMUI 5.0 Android Nougat update for your Honor 6X. So I did a couple videos on EMUI on my Mate 8. I really did not like EMUI 4 or 4.1. I felt it was much too iOS or Apple-like and it didn't really behave like Android the way I like it. EMUI 5 with Nougat has corrected a lot of those things. It makes it feel a lot more like an Android device and I'll walk through you through what I mean by that. But one of the main things I did not like was how it handled notifications on the lock screen. So in EMUI 4 and 4.1, I could not swipe away notifications from the lock screen. And EMUI 5 has taken care of that. So you can see I've got a notification here. I can swipe that away and it's gone. And so something little like that gets annoying after a while. I'm glad they corrected it here in EMUI 5 and the new update. Other changes here is that Huawei's or Honor's got this magazine lock with its rotating wallpapers. From the lock screen, I can swipe up, and this would always be your quick toggles. They added a few more, but you'll notice now once I swipe up, I can swipe between my wallpapers. So if I don't like the one that shows up, I can always swipe and change it to the next and just take a look around at all the different wallpapers. I can action them by locking it into that. I can go back to having it rotate around every time I unlock it. I can favorite it, share it, etc. So that's a little feature that they've added to the lock screen there. And let's just get into the device so that we can see what has really changed here. So first thing that we'll take a look at that has changed is the notification panel. This is another thing that used to annoy me in EMUI 4, where it used to be a split shade, where you could pull down on one side and it would be your notifications, pull down on the other side and it'll be your quick toggles. Now it's all in one shade, just like Android usually functions. So you got your quick toggles up top and your notifications below that, all in one place. And so what's interesting here on the Honor 6X is that you only get two rows of quick toggles, whereas on something like my Mate 9, if you go in here, it's got up to four rows of quick toggles. So we can kind of compare here. I'm not really sure why Honor or Huawei decide to do that. You clearly have enough space to have four rows of quick toggles. So that's just something minor, but it would have been nice to have those four rows so you get maximized the amount of quick toggles you can put on there. But we can go ahead and hit edit here and you can see additional quick settings that were added here. So now if you want, make sure you go ahead, go ahead and edit those quick settings so you can add additional things like screen recorders. So you can just tap on that and it'll start recording. So you can do a screen recording for how to's or just show people things that you want to from your device. You also got ultra battery saver, floating dock there, uh, your mirror share, do not disturb functions, eye comfort, which is your blue light filter. So reducing eye strain at night, it'll change the temperature of your display. Another thing that is new to Nougat in general is this concept of third-party quick toggles. So this offline mode function here, that is a Spotify setting. It's got that Spotify app icon. If I hit that, it'll put Spotify into offline mode without even going into the app. So that's something nice there. As more applications support that, that'll be nice. To be able to go and perform in-app functions from your quick settings menu, save you some time and a little bit of convenience there. So for now, at least for my applications, you've only got that Spotify app, but third-party quick toggles is now supported here in Android Nougat within the EMUI 5.0 update. Another new Nougat feature is bundle notifications from your notification shade here. So instead of having individual lines for say 10 or 20 Twitter messages, you've got them all bundled into this one line here. As you can see, if I expand, there's a ton of them. So bundle notifications is a new Nougat feature that is showing up here in the EMUI 5.0 update. Another new Nougat feature from the notification shade is the inline quick actions. So Messaging apps like Hangouts here will have some quick actions here like reply. So if I tap that, I can go ahead and type a message and send it out. All from the notification shade without having to go into the application itself. So a nice time saving feature there. Another important update to EMUI 5.0 with the Android Nougat update here is the ability to get back your app launcher. So with an EMUI 4 and 4.1, you did not have an app launcher. It was much more iOS like where you just had all your applications scattered across your home screen like this. You do not have an app launcher to get that back. We can just go into our settings. We can go into home screen style. 
And there you're gonna have an option to have your app drawer back. So we just select that, we'll go back home, hit a refresh, and we'll have our app drawer. And there it is. So if I hit that now, I can go through all my applications. They're all here in a traditional app drawer. I can search them, do whatever, but they're not scattered. I don't have to have them scattered out all, all across my home screens. I can remove all those and just have them live in the app drawer. Another minor but welcome feature here in the NuGet update is your recents menu here. So in EMUI 4, it used to be a vertical scrolling, just like iOS. Here in the Android NuGet EMUI 5.0 update, it's your typical Android vertical card stack. So if you're used to Android and how the recents app functions in a vertical fashion, you've got that back here in the Android NuGet update. And lastly, another key feature that has come as a part of this update is the multi-window support. So if I go ahead and launch an application like YouTube, and say I wanna watch a YouTube video while I do something else, I can hold the recents menu, and I can select another application like Twitter. So if I wanna check my Twitter feed while I watch a YouTube video, I can do that. I can go ahead and resize the window all I want, and I can go ahead and switch them. That's an actual EMUI feature, that's not a standard stock NuGet feature. So I can switch the top and bottom screens if I want to, and I can just get rid of the multi-window by tapping the X there. So multi-window support here in EMUI 5. Another feature that I found missing that EMUI 5 usually brings is App Twin, which is the ability to have multiple instances of the same app running. So if I have social media accounts like Twitter or maybe WhatsApp and I have two different logins, I can have two different apps logged in as separate users so I don't have to log in and out. And that's what App Twin did. And it's usually located at the bottom here. And let me bring in my Huawei Mate 9 and I'll kind of show that to you here. So here in the settings, this is running EMUI 5. App Twin is usually right below battery. If I hit that, any, any apps that support App Twin will show up here, so like Facebook and WhatsApp. So if I had multiple Facebook accounts, multiple WhatsApp accounts, I could have two apps each logged in at the same time versus having to log in and out. That was a nice feature if you, if you do a lot of social media under multiple accounts. I don't see it here in the EMUI 5 update for Honor 6X. So if I'm missing it, let me know, but I don't see it here. I thought that was a very nice feature for people who have multiple accounts. It's a, it's a nice little convenience thing, not here on the Honor 6X. So those are all the quick changes that I could spot in the EMUI 5 update for the Honor 6X. If I missed anything and didn't cover it, let me know in the comment section. If you have any other questions or comments about it, let me know. Otherwise, as always guys, thanks for watching.